today was weird. Today was a weird day. I show this hungry. Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. There's Anthony. We're on our way to get some lunch, but y'all, I'm so excited. My mom got a new dog. It's really our dog. It's really probably about to be our. Are we taking your car? We're gonna take yours. Why? Because mom is sitting in that sun out there. Anyway, really, really excited for mom. Y'all, I was telling her, do not get no dog yet because I need, I wanted her to get into her uh, house first and like get a feel for like where she wants things to be and then like welcome in a dog. But she, you know, mom is always on her own agenda, honey. So she had to do it right, right now. So the dog is living with us because um, my mom is close to her closing, y'all. Um, it's moving right along. So she's going to be closing soon. So let me just throw that in there. But yeah, dog's gonna be living with us for a little bit. And Sansa is loving her like, like it's the cutest little thing. It's so sweet. Sansa is like, thanks for the companionship. So, um, yeah, girl, I got a new little sister. Her name is Pippi. <laughs> What's going with this light? It's too bright. I see a neighbor across the street has a, a HVAC uh, service vehicle in the driveway. Um, girl, we've we've been having like these um, dangerously high temps. Like this sort of heat wave came in, and we were having a couple little issues with our AC yesterday. My dad had to come over and help us out with that. But yeah, girl, I see my neighbor. Our neighbor must be having some problems too. And they got Service King, which are crooks. <laughs> Service King are crooks. You call them for uh, AC repairs and they try to sell you a new AC unit. That's that's bait and switch. You know, that's not that's not ethical. Unless it's just, just that one guy. No, they all do that. That's the thing, they all do that. I called another company over and they did the same thing. Um, two years ago, we had our AC go out and then my, my dad had to um, have his HVAC friend come over and fix it for us. So it's been doing good for the past two years, but um, it was just getting a little overworked um, this past couple days because of the heat wave. And our AC unit is very old. It's the same age as our house. So we ain't gonna replace it until it's absolutely like it can't run anymore because I do want to get my money's worth, you know. What is that for me? Yeah. I do want to get my money's worth. Um, oh, it's from BMW. It's probably a thank you letter or something. They be trying to get me to go up there for everything. And then they also trying to get me to sell my car back and all of that, y'all. But I ain't doing that. Should I do that? I'm not doing that. I don't even have a car in mind of what I would get to replace this truck. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like I would just be getting a newer version of what I already have because I have no issue with this truck. I don't I do not need or want anything anything different. But yeah, y'all, so Mumu moved in to her um new building and she's getting her rental unit already and stuff like that. So um yeah, she moved in while we were away in Me in Mexico. So now she's getting settled and all that. You guys saw when I helped her like measure out the closets and stuff, so uh, she went ahead and ordered the systems and then we still have to go to Home Depot to buy the last few that we need for um, the smaller closets. So we're probably gonna do that this week and I'm really excited. We're also supposed to be running a 5K this weekend so I'm definitely gonna do that. Yeah, when I went to the gym yesterday, um, it felt like I wasn't even working out for real. Like it, it felt like nothing. It wasn't even a challenge. I'm like, oh my god! And I was, I was, I had upped everything. Like all the, the normal medicine ball weight, the normal dumbbell weight. Like I upped everything, and I still felt like it was like a mediocre workout. So I don't know, y'all. I'm still like off of a high from the, go this way. I'm still off of the high from the um, half marathon I ran. So my body is like, come on, you got to challenge me more. So I don't know, y'all. Like. You know what I'm saying? Those are the sort of um, after effects of the half. My toes are still recovering, my toenails. They were uh, struggling quite a bit because I had runner's toes. I think that's the thing. Um, my toenails were like beat up from just like stumping the pavement um, from all of the training and all that. So my toenails are not looking so good which is why I haven't gotten them done at the salon because I just wanna give them the TLC that they need. I don't wanna be bothered with polish and no chips and all that. I just wanna care for my toes and get my toenails back to the way they were because they are like bruised, like, yeah. 
but so far so good my body I think recovered very nicely after the half but anyway we're starving like Marvin it's 1151 we haven't eaten anything you check out the menu already or no mm -hmm. we're gonna pre-work oh right because we need to order more we are all out of pre-workout Brian told me something something that's supposed to be good it's all natural mm -hmm. with beets Oh yeah? When do they sell it online? Maybe I'll order both of them. Yeah, let's try them out. Yeah, because all pre-workouts are not created equal. Okay, we is here. Oh, look at the cute petunias. All I do is look at landscaping now. And floral displays. This is cute. They got the cannas. Okay, we're at the white sheep. Breakfast, brunch, coffee, pastry. We never get the pastries as many times as we've been here. Thank you. Yeah. Got the chilaquiles. This is my first time ordering this. It looks so good. Let's try it out. Look who I found down here. Keeping the puppy company. Are you getting to know her, Sansa? You had you excited? You being so excited? Aww. Hey, Pippi. Hey, Pippi. Hey, little Pippi. Pippi like it. That my mommy? Are you my mom? <laughs> oh, Sansa girl. Oh, Sansa. You love Pippi? You love Pippi? You're so sweet, Sansa. You're getting to know Pippi. You're getting to know Pippi. Uh, Alright, we're back from breakfast. Not me out here, um... <laughs> Girl, I gotta rinse my foot off, okay? The little doggy done peed on me. The little doggy done peed on me, girl. You can't pee on me, little doggy. Okay. Look at Sansa, girl, with her new pal, Pippi. Her new pal, Pip, she's so gentle with her, y'all. Oh my God, my mom was scared. I'm like, listen, Sansa girl is not going to hurt this little baby. Sansa has been watching over her and just being all motherly. She's very curious, but she knows this is a baby. And Sansa's like, I'll be your mom. I'll help you. Sansa's like, I'll help you. Sansa, she's gonna, she's gonna be like on edge and stuff. She, she thinks she has to protect her. But 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 Pippi, there she go. But you pee pee Pippi. Pippi was all like, yeah. yeah, she was all like like um, being to herself and not moving around a whole lot. And now that she's outside with Sansa, now she's moving way more. She's jumping. She's way more alive. Pippi, cute. Pippi, you is so cute. Pippi, you is cute. Sansa, you Sansa, you did Pippi have something to drink and eat? Yeah, she had, she, I gave her, um, some of the farmer's dog. The farmer's dog. So she's going to be a farmer's dog dog. Okay, I love that. Yvette's dog is. She said she's been doing it before, um, um, the, the, before the spring got in. Look at that. Uh -huh. Salsa, don't dig. You went doing messing up all my mulch. Stop it. Oh, Salsa's leading the pack. Salsa's like, I got a new pack. Oh, look at Pippi. Look at her. Yeah, Oh, look at them. Salsa, you the pack leader again? Oh, Pippi, you is so cute, Pippi. You got a flower, Pippi. Say adorable. Stop, Pippi. Pippi, Pippi you yeah. got a flower, Pippi. That's that, Pippi. Come on. <laughs> Stop, Pippi. Come on. Uh -huh. The boxer and the Cane Corso. Not my hair being a humidity mess, but anyway, y'all, it's a little bit later in the evening. I took some time to rest. I didn't get to take a full nap, but um, I rested. Looked at some TV and all that. Anne is over there on the couch. She doesn't seem to be feeling too well. It just seems like allergies, but it seems like it's really bringing her down. So she didn't eat her food, and she's like not getting off the couch after her nap. So I'm not sending her to therapy tomorrow because I think she might be um, feeling not too well. So. 
we gotta keep an eye on her. But anyway, you know what time it is when you see this, honey, okay? It's a um, deep fried snapper type of evening, okay? So mom went to um, Pete's and got all of the snappers. Uh, these are really small, so we're gonna just cook four for the three of us. And we got our tortillas, and I have my little cheat code seasonings and things like that. Y'all, this is what does it for that fried snapper. Like, it ain't just salt and pepper. It, that's not enough. It's gotta be like, you know, it's gotta be like some complex blend type seasonings. Okay. Um, so we, we're doing it with a salad. So we got all of our um, salad ingredients, all that. And uh, yeah, you might be wondering what this is. So this is mom's dog's food for, I guess, the week or something. She got some beef liver. She got some um, like bone marrow and all that. And then she's got this split chicken. So this is what little Pippi is going to be eating. And of course y'all know Pippi is like named after Pippi Longstocking because she was a mischievous little girl. And so, oh, look at little Pippi. Learning how to be on the beach. Yeah. She don't like it, that jacket is too big. Yeah, she'll grow into it for sure. For sure, within a day or two. Probably. Yeah. Oh, she's not, she's like, what is this all about? But let me show y'all the funny stuff. Um, with my mom's little store trip girl, she went to PetSmart and got like all of this like beginner dog owner stuff girl. She got her a pet bandana, so cute. She got little treats. She got a puppy spray, she got the puppy shampoo. Anywho, uh, I got the grease heating up over here. So we're gonna be deep frying very, very soon. And we're just gonna have the fish, rice, and salad with the tortillas. It's gonna be so good. Go Pippi, go Pippi, go Pippi, go Pippi, go Pippi, go Pippi, go Pippi. Pippi wants to explore the perennials. Nope, nope, nope. Can't eat my perennials. You can't eat my perennials, Pippi. Look how cute you are. You ain't the cutest little box forever. Put up, it looks like Casa could have been saying, This baby, my baby. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Sansa's like, Thank you for the miniature companion here. Sansa wants to mother her. Oh, so sweet. Your mama's baby. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. What's that? This is something that smells. It's supposed to be like sensory to the smell. This way. Smell it. Mm -hmm. Oh, ugh. <laughs> but they, it's, yeah, it's it smells so, like a chicken bone. I know. That's what they, Ooh. That's what they say. It smells like a chicken bone. I don't like that. Mm. I look a scraggly mess. I'm tired. Body sore from yesterday. Uh, I did like um, uh, I was working like the upper body and lower body muscle groups so my arms are a little bit sore my legs aren't though my legs are not sore at all um, but my arms are I'm doing all that like staggered push-ups and sprawls and all that stuff so from the core down I'm like good to go but my upper body hadn't gotten much movement i guess since the half marathon because i was kind of laying low and stuff so i needed to probably stretch during the time that i wasn't working out it was an entire week y'all i'll never go that long Ooh, okay <laughs> all right the snapper is fried this took all of 40 minutes for each set, uh, we got some salad here. We got the cilantro, the avocado, the lime, and the tortillas in here. Just did a few, trying to keep the carbs down, you know what I'm saying? And we got the instant Spanish rice, which goes great with the snapper. And then this kind of like Frontega sauce. Like, I don't know, I told them to be careful with it. Just taste it, see if you like it. Don't just drench it on the fish, just in case because it's designed for steak seasoning. So I just thought it would be okay since it has like the you know, the Mexican flair, but I don't know. I'm just gonna sit right here. Sansa, it's not for you. Fire is still going. I might have to put another log in here. But this burn in a really low. Anywho, I am so tired, like very, very sleepy. I'm going to enjoy my food. Anthony is in the house with Ann. My mom is going to be coming out here in a second.
put a thump about that. Oh, okay. I see when you ask the doctor about it. Hey y'all, dinner was great. It was so good. Now it's time to wrap this up. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep, so I'm about to show y'all how I dispose of this cerise. Sometimes I could use it again, you know, for like a second round, but like sometimes I just look at it and I decide I'm not gonna. So cleaning out this uh what is this, this portable electric fryer? Be a whole little event. Okay, so this is the thing. This is what I'm going to Girl. I just got my little funnel. I'm just gonna pour the grease in the tub and then I'm just gonna dispose of the whole tub. I just love how all of the parts to this uh, fryer just come apart, it just all breaks down comes out and you just can't pour it right in so let's see i need my mom's help holding this it's not gonna stay it's not mom morning you guys it's the next day y'all are catching me in the midst of a cleaning frenzy y'all I woke up this morning and it just hit me I became overwhelmed with the state of my house I noticed that pillows were just strewn about there were crumbs on the floor I, I started to notice Sansa's little drool marks and I just started freaking out I'm like I gotta clean my house like so y'all are catching me in the middle of the frenzy I'm a little bit more calm now because things are starting to come together but girl listen um, if you ever had um, extended guests in your house, you already know what time it is, you know, be like a lot of adults walking around and you know, you got to clean things up. So um, I just finished the family room. I'm feeling a lot better about it. Put all the pillows back, fluffed everything. Okay, just put all the chairs in here. This is just my usual routine. If you guys have ever seen any of my cleaning videos, you already know. Got my mop bucket ready with some scalding hot water. So I'm getting ready to hit this floor. I just finished vacuuming with <laughs> my Dyson Outsize Absolute Plus vacuum, y'all. This is the bee's knees right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I'm partnering with Dyson as a brand ambassador for this year. So I'm really excited about that. This is not a sponsored message or anything. I'm only really working with them on Instagram, but I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about it in my YouTube videos because I'm really loving this vacuum, y'all. Look at all of this dust and fur that is picking up off my floors. Like I'm just smitten. Like this is amazing. So this is the area where we keep like all the Sansa stuff and um, there's a lot of fur and a lot of debris on the floor. So I'm getting ready to just um, vacuum all this up and then um, mop. And the rug that was back here, I actually just threw it in the garbage because I don't like it no more. So I'm gonna go and get um, a new rug for back here as soon as possible. Yeah, gotta have a rug here. Like I can't just be back here on bare floor. It doesn't feel nice at all. Girl, my sweet mom, she got her stuff all over the place, like just, Every room of the house is like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Look what she got down here in this bathroom. I guess this is her hair bathroom. So she just does her hair in here. Girl, she is so funny. And another little project that I need to do today, y'all, is replace um, the door handles and locks on this door and this door. Because Anne is getting out and escaping and it's very dangerous. So we gotta replace these today. The reason I need to replace it is because the handle here is an oval shape and um, the toddler door handles that actually work really well for keeping her inside don't fit on the oval handle. So I gotta replace these for the round ones. It's just so crazy because the people that used to live here had the oval ones on every single door. Like every door in the house is the oval shape. So if I ever wanna put the toddler locks on there, I have to change them. And yes, there are a ton of different um, toddler proof you know, options for these doors but none of them work for Anne. 
that's that's the thing they don't work for Anne. the only ones that work are these like these ones work well for like cabinet doors and stuff she can't get those off but for the door handle it has to be this one and it only works on the round handles so yep there are a ton of different options but nope they don't work for us i've tried all of them i've researched all of them spent weeks doing this these are the only ones that work so my only choice is to remove the old handles to replace them for round ones Woo. okay we're done down here Upstairs. Hey Sansa. Floor's looking good. Look at my Dyson products that just got delivered. I'm really excited. I'm gonna be trying some new vacuums. And of course, I'll be telling you guys all about it. <laughs> Somebody's in bed. They did not go to school today. Not feeling too good. I think with her teething, she's been putting her hands in her mouth a lot and she caught a little cold from doing that. It's okay, mommy. Finally done cleaning. All the rugs are in the wash. Y'all, I'm in my zone. Let me show you something different that I did. I put our picture up here. I'm like, why not? There's room for it. And I got rid of a bunch of that stuff that was sitting here, because I figured keeping it simple was better. This was a candle that my manager got me for Mother's Day. Look at that wick. I love it so much. This is such a good candle. It smells amazing. Hey you guys, it's been a couple of days. So sorry I haven't even talked to y'all. I've been so, so busy. Right at this moment, I'm preparing to go pick up Anne from therapy, but before I go, I was trying to see if I could get this letter written. Remember earlier when I was telling you guys that we had gotten denied essentially um, for our handicap placard that we were um, applying for. Um, we weren't denied denied, we were just um, given yet another obstacle to overcome. So they had asked me to provide some more information on her diagnosis, basically saying, um, as I explained, I don't remember what I said, so I'm probably repeating myself, but um, that we needed some more information. They, you know, you can't just have autism, you have to explain, I guess, why uh, you would need a handicap placard for autism. So I just got off the phone with um, Anne's neuropsychology, practice um the place where she initially got diagnosed and the place where she was reevaluated just recently so i'd asked them for a copy of her um psychological report or whatever um, when they had done the reevaluation and i realized that i actually already have it um so i ended up finding it and i'm just sitting here literally writing a letter uh to the secretary of state explaining um a little bit more detail about her diagnosis you know bringing in some language about her iq evaluation and just all that stuff where she stands sort of physically um, in terms of her age and all that so i'm like literally reading the report and then like summarizing it in a letter and i'm going to send all of this to them um, as a response to their request and hopefully this will be enough to get them to say okay this is a family that deserves the privilege of um accessible parking this, this just feels so weird y'all like it's really bothering me that i have to fight this hard um it should they should just be giving those things away right like if a person has the audacity to say they need one they probably need one um and if they have um an official diagnosis from a pediatrician saying that their child you know has a particular condition that should be enough but i know that there'll be devil's advocates in the comments saying like all this stuff so sure, I understand, that's why I'm writing the letter. But it's really just hard when you know that you're one of those families that definitely deserve it. And yes, I do realize that there's fraud and there's people who take advantage of the system and blah, 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 blah. Doesn't make it any easier, right? It just does not make it any easier because we already know that the special needs community is probably the most marginalized community to ever live. And we do know that, you know, there are plenty of industries that just wish these people can just go away, right? Um, as a special needs parent, I've lived it. I didn't just read it somewhere. I'm living it. It is my reality. 
and you know every aspect of my life that involves my daughter is a challenge because people don't seem to care people don't seem to listen and it just really feels alone you know so having to write this letter having to get this report this just kind of adds to um, the anxiety the um, feelings of being like the forgotten community you know of this society like this all just kind of adds to it so yes there's a part of me the logical rational part of me that understands why you know but then there's the mom side of me the human side of me who's just like yeah you know I'm just kind of tired of feeling this way though you know I got my computer sort of set up in my bedroom these days because y'all know I don't have an office and my freaking mom moved in so she took over the guest room where I had all of this set up at first so it's a little um so the setup is not ideal but um I'm not gonna complain it's okay so after I wrap this up I'm gonna print it and mail it back with the original um application and hopefully this will be enough um so i'll keep you guys posted on how this kind of all plays out because what i want to do is i want to help an autism mom out there who is in a similar situation either have been denied access in this way or didn't even know that this um type of option was available to you i want to help you guys through that because as autism mommies you know we're kind of out here kind of winging it on our own and we got to do what we got to do right just recently, uh, a woman at my gym has a special needs daughter. She doesn't have autism. She has a different uh, physical neurological condition. We were talking one day and she was literally coming to tears because she was telling me that it was so difficult for her to find care for her daughter, right? Because every time we come to the gym, her daughter is with her and they drive a van and it's, you know, handicap equipped for the wheelchair and everything. And she comes to the gym with her three days a week. This woman brings her adult special needs daughter with her to the gym three days a week. That's why I say it's just no excuse to not really, you know, get into the fitness thing. But anywho, we were talking about like how to get help, right? People are always screaming, ask for help, you know, hire some help. Here's a woman who whose daughter is an adult, so she's lived, you know, a couple decades cannot even pay somebody to help her with her daughter um you know she's she's put out these ads and you know she's made these requests online and no one wants to you know accept the job no one wants to even get paid to help her with her child and it hurts right and so she was standing in the gym discussing with me and she started crying and i was about to start crying with her i'm like oh my god like my daughter is only like a child but just imagine like when we get to that point you know and she was telling me that her daughter um, you know is in diapers and she has like all these needs and she lists these things when she you know I guess pitches you know um, some kind of caregiver and nobody bites right and it's just you know it's hard y'all um, so anyway the same woman we talk all the time about you know life and she had given me a packet like this whole like trapper keeper I don't even know if that's even a thing anymore but this packet of like information on how to transition through the different phases of life you know um, dealing with the school systems, dealing with the after school programs and just how it, just the transitions through um, life, you know, with a person whose special needs are, you know, gonna be lifelong. And I've said that to say this, the only community that we really have as special needs moms are the ones we create for ourselves. So, you know, you have to get out there and reach out and find these people in order to figure out what's next for you because if you think you can ready, just Google it or it's just gonna fall out of the sky, it's not. Um, so I'm really grateful that I live in a community where people reach out and they can see what you're going through and, and, and they just like want to help. So grateful for that. So, so much. Because if it wasn't for that, I don't know where we'd be. Anywho, let me go get Ann. We'll get to this when I come back. All right, you guys. Ann is home. There's Santa girl. Okay, so um, I went ahead and finished the letter and getting all the paperwork together, so I'm just gonna print it and mail it. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. So, Anne is playing and stuff. We're about to get ready to go, y'all. I didn't even mention, um, you guys know my sister bought a building and everything, and she's just about ready to accept her first tenant. And um, uh, the building was brand newly renovated, so all of the closets are without like closet storage systems. So in a couple of vlogs ago, I was kind of explaining to you guys that I was over there measuring and making recommendations for her on like what different closet systems she could install for the different closets. Y'all, because it's a building, right? 
it's like 12 closets okay so it's a lot of closet systems going in but we went to home depot last night bought pretty much everything she needed girl we spent a four figure amount up in home depot on closet units okay today um we're all headed over me my dad my cousins and we're gonna help her install all this stuff for her closet so that's what we're doing right now y'all have seen all this stuff before this is all miss von housework stuff okay so i'm just getting ready to load all this stuff in here take it over there and help her get these closets up because when it comes to rental properties time is money okay hey guys it's several days later. I'm on my way out right now, me and Anthony. So while we're gone, um, Anna's at school right now. My mom is back here, girl. Hey, Pippi. Get back, Pippi. Come here, Pip. Here. Mm -mm -mm, Pipster. So yeah, my mom is filling up the pool because we're gonna do um, the pool at the bottom of the slide. We actually did some of that yesterday. I wasn't vlogging, but we're doing the same thing today just with a larger pool that we have just to see if Ann has even more fun with it. But y'all, she was so obsessed with it when it was time to stop. Like we had been out there for hours. She was crying and carrying on. She did not want to stop the fun. So she really, really loves it. I'm just grabbing my water. I went to the bathroom real quick and I'm gonna run back out to the car so we can leave. It's a hot one. Hey, I'm blocking a little bit. Police. Um, I was calling you in regards to the sugar. This is Starburst. Oh man. You said you got what? I'm glad you got the apples. The apple was a peanut butter. Yeah. sleep y'all so we're not gonna play in the pool just yet it's like a Reese's anywho let me show y'all some art that Ann made one of her little teachers tried to give me some art when we picked her up that was still wet I was like girl you can go ahead and just throw this right on out I'm not getting in my car with no wet paint anywho look at this cuteness Ann loves butterflies she made those this is, I guess, a boat girl. Something you can hang. <laughs> this is old from Father's Day. Look at the little sheep. It's so cute, Ian. I love this one for some reason. Little horsey. And the lion with the wiggly eyes. So cute. What you doing? <laughs> Close up salsa girl and little Pippi over here. Hey Pippi. Hey little Pippi. <laughs> salsa is usually laying right next to Pippi. That's all she does is just mother her. They hang out a lot. My mom likes to keep Pippi separated though because salsa it's a little rough with her. I told her that's how they do. They're gonna romp, romp around. But my mom is so nervous about it, so we have to keep them separated. And also, Pippi is not like house trained or whatever, so she'll like pee everywhere. There's the pool my mom put up with the water in it. Looks super fun. Where is my mom anyway? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <One>. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Always trying to get me to get in. And I don't want to get in. <laughs> you go with daddy? <laughs> uh oh. That was not a good slide. I was gonna do more. Like, ah. Today was weird. Today was a weird day. Anne did not enjoy the pool with the slide as much as she did yesterday. She must be a little grumpy because we woke up from her nap. Anywho, we came back inside. It's time for dinner and some TV time, okay? Let me see this mommy. Sweet girl. Yeah, Anne is, um, Anne is in chill mode. I put on this hat because I didn't want you guys to see my hair. It looks a mess, but anyway, I wanna show y'all something right quick. And farted. We're making some pizza in the oven and some french fries in the air fryer. Wait, what's with the light here? I wanted to show y'all this package that I got recently from the fun folks at Tri Treats. They sent me this. Okay, y'all. This is apparently a subscription service where you can try international snacks and treats. I don't know about you guys, but that's very intriguing to me to try snacks from different places. I just got back from Mexico. Um, a couple weeks ago and the first thing I did when I touched down was get my hands on some local snacks I am all about that it's definitely my thing what's up salsa girl it's just so interesting and I'm not a huge snack person but I am when I travel right so they sent me this um, this is a website called uh, trytreats.com you guys can definitely check it out if you um, are curious as to what this is like I do have a discount code if they were so nice as to accompany with the gifted box and it is Miss Von TV and you can save 15% on your first order so let me show you guys what's in this thing okay let's get into it so the packaging is really cute I appreciate the imagery of the globe and all of that on here and as we open ta-da you'll see that your treats are packed in here now here's the thing y'all okay like I said this was gifted the owner of the company was so kind as to reach out and to send this to me so thank you so much Roger uh, but I don't know what's in here that's the thing right it's going to be a surprise so let's check it out Anthony do you want to try this out with me <laughs> you know I do. So I'm gonna rip into this paper right quick. Come on, babe. And you're not getting any of my treats. And Sansa girl, you are not getting any either. So okay, yeah, they I have it. I hit pull up for this. <laughs> they have it packed in there like that. This is backwards. Hold on. Okay. All right. So they have it packed in there like that. Let's see what we have, y'all. I want to taste some of this stuff too. Let's see. So the first one. Oh, you know what? I love it. Okay. So there's a info card that explains everything that you're getting. Good, because I was about to say, how do you know what where is from what is from where? So this will give you guys uh, a better idea. So yeah, this first side talks about the giveaway that they're doing. Uh, I won't really get into that. I'll just say check out trytreats.com to learn about the giveaway. I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but um, everything inside this box that I got is from Serbia and Croatia. Okay, so this first thing on the list is Animal Kingdom by Crass. By Cross, where's that? So you gotta like dig through and see what you can see. You found it? Oh, it's right here in my hand, okay. So this is the first treat, Animal Kingdom. It's a milk chocolate bar. It got kind of bent, okay. Um, the next one is uh, Prima Pretzel Sticks by Stark. So, here you go. Oh, I love how it's like in another language. I don't know, some kind of Slavic. I don't know, y'all. I don't I don't know how to read it. Please don't get offended. I just, I'm not sure. We also have Smoky by Stark. These are fresh baked peanuts. That's really interesting. I kind of want to, I kind of want to try this one right quick. Fresh baked peanuts, let's see. First thing I gotta do is smell it, y'all. All right, first impression. Smells like straight up peanuts, without a doubt. Uh, but the look of it, they look like little puffs. They look like little puffs. So let's see. It 
that's a real savory uh, taste. It's very salty, um, but it's literally like puffs. It tastes like they were puffed up with some peanut butter. Real smooth coating. Low key sweet, but super salty. It's okay, Tasa. That must be mom. Who is that ringing the bell? Somebody's at my door. Okay, next we have. What else is on here, y'all? Kiki by Cross. That is this Tutti Fruity. Oh, little Tutti Fruities. You know what these look like? They look like little uh, starbursts. It looks like that. Mmm. Let's open this one up. I'm gonna try the one with the strawberry on it. Yeah, y'all, these are like fruities. If y'all are from the hood, you already know what a fruity is. This looks like fruities. It looks kind of milky. Yep. That's a fruity. It's a fruity. Just a little more creamy. Baby, who at the door? Oh. All okay. right. It's just so interesting that something could be from on the other side of the world and taste so familiar. It tastes so familiar. We have this little treat. Ma, you want to check this out? This is um snacks from around the world and this particular one is from Serbia and Croatia. So we got some snacks from Serbia and Croatia. I've never been to either of those places. You want to check it out right quick? <laughs> this looks very familiar as well, you guys. Yeah. It's like little um, wafer treats with a cream filling. This is a flagship chocolate product of Kras, or Kras, not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, one of the first chocolate manufacturers in the world, founded in 1911. Okay, fun fact. Garina is among the favorite of chocolate lovers in Serbia and Croatia. All right, well that's fun. I'm definitely going to be trying this one, y'all. I actually really love European chocolate. It's probably my favorite out of all of the chocolates offered in the world. They just have a way of getting it right for my palate, so yes, honey. All right, I think I looked at pretty much everything in here. Y'all, basically, if you wanna be adventurous and try something different and new, sign up for this box, okay? I'm really glad I got this one. I hope they send me more. This is really fun, and I hope to taste all of this stuff. You guys know I am not super big on sweets, but I do have a capacity for sweets at that certain time of the month and also after certain really salty, savory meals. I like to have like a little something on the finish. So I will definitely be trying all of these and sharing them with my family, of course. And yeah, use my code Miss Von TV if you guys wanna save 15% on your first order. This is a, it's supposed to be fresh baked peanuts. Now they tricked me a little bit with this one because I thought it was gonna be some actual peanuts floating around in here. It is not. It's basically like a puff, a puff um, snack, like a like a Cheeto puff or something. But it tastes like peanut butter. You, I bet you you'll like it because you love peanut butter. But it's salty though, right? You said it's not for you. Hmm. Yeah, because you want it to be sweet. That's why it's not for you. I like peanut butter on like things I eat like. Bananas, mm -hmm. stuff like that. For the work. When you first put it in your mouth, it has like a little sweetness. As soon as you start chewing, it gets salty as ever. I love salt. That's my favorite flavor. Love salt. So this is my thing right here. But baby, look. Um, we got all these little sweet treats. Chocolate. This is supposed to be some of the best chocolate in Croatia and Serbia. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I would like to try next after this box? I want to try some treats from like I want to try like some South African treats. You know what I'm saying? I also would be interested in some Japanese treats, of course. I could just go down to my local um, Asian market for that, but that would be one. What's another one? What what? region seems like they would have interesting snacks. Mm. North Africa, I'd be interested. Pretty much everywhere else I've been already, so I've tried the snacks, hun, but um, I've never been to Africa, so I'd like to try some treats from there. But yeah, Tutti Fruity, these taste like fruities. Just with like a creamier, look, look at you, Cross. It seems like Cross is like the monopoly for um, candy and snack making, because all this stuff is from Cross, girl. Cross, Stark, you know what I mean? Yeah, 
For sure. Um, they, it seems like the assemblers for the box, it seems like the Tri Treats folks have added the nutrition facts on here in English for us to see kind of what we're working with. So I do appreciate that. Um, this is not the original uh, nutrition fact information. They put those on there. So I, I appreciate the extra effort there to, to um, make it so that we know what we're eating before we eat it and not having to translate and stuff. But for the most part, all this stuff is um, in the original language, which I think is another um, element of, um, of fun. It's fun to, you know, have an authentic treat from somewhere else. So alrighty, I'm gonna put this away. Explore the world through food. It's a fun way to explore out of here. Yes. Not you with the... <laughs> All right, y'all, family night commences now. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank y'all so much for hanging. Okay. It's been a crazy last couple weeks in a good way though. So, um, Mom's all excited because she just got a clear to close on her house. Whoop, whoop. Ann is excited because she's watching the Moonies. Anthony's excited because the pizza just came out of the oven. And I'm excited because I am about to chill on the couch. Okay, my body is so sore from yesterday's workout. So I'm just chilling, okay? So I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? I love you guys so much.